So, today we're going to be reading Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is man's all. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. All right, so this is a beautiful picture. In fact, the whole book of Ecclesiastes is a great picture that King Solomon has has wrote that we may understand the meaning of life. And here we have in the very last chapter of this book, the summation of what life is truly about. Life is about fearing God. As he says here, fear God and keep his commandments for this is man's all. The entirety of our existence, the entirety of our purpose for existence is rested upon fearing God. Now, my question I always ask myself when we have like things like this happening in the Bible is why is fearing God so important? Well, the fear of the Lord, the Bible says, is the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom is applying God's holy standard and law to life. Wisdom helps lead and guide us through the complexities of life, through the will of God. But fearing God is being in awe of him. God is worthy of our fear. God is worthy of our reverential awe towards him because he is the only one like himself. He's in a league all on his own. There is no one comparable to God. There is no one on earth nor in heaven above who is like God. God is uniquely him. He dwells in oneness. He is only the only one true God. There is no one, nothing that can be compared to God. Because that he's in a category all on his own, because there is nobody else like him, he deserves all of our praise, all of the fear and the worship that we can possibly give him. And in verse 14, we have that for God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. Because God is who he is, he is the great Jehovah God who sees all, knows all. Because God sees and knows all, even past what we as humans can see and know, even within ourselves, he, everything is exposed before him. There's nothing hidden from the sight of God. And whether, whatever we do, whether good or evil in this body, will be judged on judgment day. That's why, brothers and sisters, it's very important that we are conscientious or God conscious of everything that we do and say. Whether we speak idly or speak wickedly, those things will be judged. God has outlined from Genesis to Revelation how we as his Christians should conduct ourselves in this body. In fact, the entire Bible is centered around the glory of God to describe who he is and illustrate to us who he is and outline what we must do as his children. I, I, I can't really stand when I hear about people, whether in the body or or unsaved individuals who say, only God can judge me. You can't judge me. One thing I, I absolutely hate about that statement is that they don't want man to judge them. And let's play devil's advocate. If man does not judge them, fine. And if only God judged them, that's what's really important. They're not saying anything that's contradictory to what God says in his word. God will judge every single one of us for the deeds done in this body, whether good or evil, as we have just read. So only if, if God can only judge you, then we all should live in fear of that. For one day we will be judged by our creator. And whatever we have done will be judged according to the standard and the will of God. So if only God can judge us, we should have reverential fear of that. We should be always mindful of what our actions entail towards others. In fact, to the degree we must actually become saved individuals and in right standing with God through the person of Jesus Christ. If only God can judge us, then we all should be petrified at this point because God has the ability to throw us into the lake of fire with death, hell, and the grave. None of us are going to escape that day when God will judge us.
But we all can now, if we have breath in our bodies today, make a change in our life. If you are not saved, I pray that you will come to know our Lord Jesus Christ for yourself and accept the atonement and the sacrifice and the penalty of our sins. And I pray that if you are saved and if you do do some foolish things, even as Christians, then I pray that you will repent of your sin. And I pray that you will start fearing God and that you will get to know him and exercise wisdom in your daily living. We are faced with a choice every single day, whether we're going to choose to follow Jesus or choose to follow ourselves. I pray that you choose to follow Jesus, and I pray that you stay consistent in following him and representing him here on this earth. And remember, one day we all will be judged for the deeds that are done in this body, whether good or evil. So let us fulfill our purpose as humans on this earth and to fear God, for this is man's all. Thanks for watching. Please check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for the latest content. Also, check us out on our website at www.waytruthem.org or contact us with this email address to connect with us. We are standing ready, willing to pray for you, to believe with you, and to connect with you. Also, check out our book on Amazon called What Do I Do Now? Building a Solid Christian Foundation to help you navigate through the most common questions asked by new and mature believers. May God bless you.